old school at this point is the idea of the teacher moving aside and not being the content deliverer. I mean, I can get, one kid actually said to me last week, I don't understand history teachers. I can get that information from a book. Why do they think they need to tell me those things? Tell me more. How do I synthesize it? How do I think about it? Tell me more about what's going on. So the idea that we're the only ones that have content is gone. We're over to the side. Now we're just helping to develop their interest, find what they want to find out about, help them find how to do that, use research, use each other, collaborate. The idea of collaboration is not new either. I mean, we've been collaborating for decades, centuries, but now you can literally do it with results that are not just, oh, look at this cute group project, but oh, you've learned to be a leader, oh, you've learned how to negotiate your time. So you, all these skills that are necessary for us in this day and age, and probably always, are are Assigning assignments day -day just for the sake of having an assignment. Well, you need to have a paper this week, so let's just write a paper on the Hebrews. Um, that doesn't really necessarily work in their, in their worlds. So, you know, there's all sorts of buzzwords out there. Um, backwards design, this whole understanding by design curriculum that's, that's been pushed out there that is, you kind of begin with the end in mind. Those are all great and well, but I think the innovative part is making the experience real for your students. And if you don't make it real for your students and relevant, uh, that's the hard part. And that goes back to the idea of content is important, but everything in the history book that they read in my class they can find on Google with just a few keystrokes. Go through, like there's numerous times you'll take a test and you'll just memorize what you're supposed to test and you'll do fine. And then like two weeks later, because you didn't go through the process of, you know, learning it on your own and having your thoughts connected, yeah, it's gone pretty fast. If uh, the students can, if they can Google it, they re don't really need to work on memorizing it. I would prefer that they um, work on looking at the concept. So the concept of this unit is systems and really looking at how systems work together, making connections to ecosystems and solar systems that they learned about in second grade, pulling that into body systems in third grade, and then even to other objects. We've looked at coffee makers and bikes and computers and really had them come up with what a system is and how those things are systems too. And just that systems work in our world all around us. One of the, the challenges to, to encouraging change is that teachers feel that they need to be experts, which is a good thing, and they interpret expertise to mean knowing everything in their field, and so they're uncomfortable if students ask questions that they don't know the answer to. But um, we are very eager for students to ask questions that we don't know the answer to, and that perhaps that no one knows the answer to, and our students do that all the time. So our teachers feel that our job is to coach kids on how to find answers and that in schools change is going to come when teachers feel like they have permission to say, I don't know. What can I do about that? How can I model how I might find out for you? How can I go about this process with you and you'll see how we do history, how we do math, how we do science as opposed to just the known content. And, and that changes the whole dynamic in the classroom when teachers are empowered to not know. All of us to be in, teachers, administrators, parents, and, and kids. And it really is an approach to looking at learning as much as anything else, and a way of approaching problems and challenges and, and how to go about overcoming those. And the way we've presented it is we really are using the metaphor as uh, teacher as innovator. And obviously that's what we want our students to be, too. And so what we tried to do is encapsulate that in a, a few phrases. And what we came up with is ACT. We are problem solvers, doers, creators. We learn from mistakes. We fail fast and fearlessly, learning from each try. We work together. We collaborate, creating better solutions. We contribute to the greater good. We improve our community and world. Be resilient. We don't give up. Grow. We are lifelong learners. And then we've also taken this set of premises and we incorporate that in a, into um, an assessment metric for the new curriculum we're designing to drive our, our student learning towards the five the Parents, seats. you know, if they came in and sat on the lesson, they would say, well, I don't see a teacher doing any teaching at all. Uh, because really, the kids become the star of the show and the teachers are supporting them versus the teacher being up front and being the star while the kids listen. So it's just flipping the Talked entire. about what we liked and didn't like about our history books, like the way the chapters were set up. So we got assigned um, a group and a chapter and we used, using the feedback, we wrote our own chapters using the information. But in